Hi Aquarius! Welcome to my channel, Vinyl Moon Child Tarot. I am Becky and I'm here to do the general love reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising for the first half of October 2018. Now before I get into your read, I want to let you guys know of a Venus retrograde in Scorpio and what it means. This means that there's going to be a lot of wake up, break ups and shake ups, uh, things that were put left in the dark, stuffed down um, to be pushed aside, uh, left to in the internal is going to come out externally. So this could be people that are hiding their emotions, feelings, um, it's going to come out. People that are hiding fears, worries, and anxiety, it's going to come out. People that have been holding secrets, it's going to come out. Um, and then also a lot of psychic hits, um, abilities coming off, uh, abilities getting stronger. All right. So um, it just really depends on where Scorpio is in your chart, in your placement. All right. Uh, I'm not an astrologer. I just want to pass the information along. So let's go into your read. <coughs> so Aquarius, the first card out we have is Judgment. Then it's followed by the Hanged Man. Ace of Wands. Strength. Then we have the Fool, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands, the Devil. Okay, let me look at something really quick. Alrighty, so <coughs> I'm going to read across first, then I'll read up and down. So across what we have is uh, there's a second chance call to action, but somebody is needing to look at something from a different perspective. They're, have, they're being delayed, needing to look at something uh, from um, uh, a, an external factor or needing to just wait they're being hung upside down so that is a period of enlightenment or they're having to wait what are they waiting for this passionate new beginning and the strength to do so <coughs> now the bottom row says that somebody is on a journey somebody has wiped the slate clean they're wiping the slate clean from these fears worries and anxieties and what they are moving towards is victory and success but there's a Saturnian lesson that needs to be happening it's in regards to cutting out something that is very toxic. This could be sex, drugs, alcohol, deep codependency, okay? Uh, even self-sabotaging. Or you could just be dealing with a Capricorn. <laughs> or a Leo. All right, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, an Aries... Um, sun, moon, or rising people, uh, and possibly a Pisces. <coughs> so the bottom of the deck is nine of wands. This is uh, you being very defensive, very guarded, but f uh, very much with that last bit of fight in you. Okay. Alrighty. So judgment and the full card. Somebody has a second chance to start all over again, start uh, a new life, start a new journey in life. A call to action to take a leap of faith. So this person is um, being blocked and delayed because of this nine of swords, this worries, fears, and anxieties. This could be also like overthinking. This could be insomnia. But basically, this is the blockage that is um, that is currently going on in regards to this situation. So what are they worried about? What are these worries and fears in regards to a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands moving towards victory, success, and recognition? <coughs> Somebody is afraid to move towards victory and success because the question is how, 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 how? Like, how do I do this? Um, how do I move forward? What are the steps? Guide me. I, I don't understand. 
Um, that's what I'm sensing. And then with the strength card and the double card, it's as if you're putting yourself in a toxic situation or you are in a toxic situ situation, Jesus. Um, this could be, again, addictions in regards to um, being in a toxic relationship, codependency, self-sabotaging. Um, this could be just being trapped, enslaved, um, tied down basically to a situation you do not want to be in. And the strength is here to say you have the strength, you have that boldness, that courageous, that zest in your heart, that passion to get to knock this guy down, to knock this toxicity down, okay? You have it in you. You have the strength to knock that devil energy down. All right. <clears throat> so going into clarification mode. So the, the uh, judgment card and the full card is being clarified by the two of wands. So this could be a doorway. A doorway, um, so there was a second chance at a path that you wanted to take, the, but it's like as if you didn't take that chance before and now you're ready to take that chance. The doorway is open. Are you going to walk through Aquarius? Um, <clears throat> or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, the Hanged Man and uh, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Six of Wands. So again, the Six of Wands, victory, success. You're going to move, move towards it. Okay. Ace of Wands and Six of Wands is being clarified by Three of Pentacles. So somebody definitely wants to have that. Um, you have this relationship with this somebody that um, has this this uh, this whole thing about teamwork makes the dream work. This person wants to work with you. This person could have possibly worked with you at, in the in a company together, or worked with you. Um, on a project together it's like you used to work together or you work together or you guys will be working together working together towards a solid foundation building towards a solid foundation this could also be that you're seeking guidance <coughs> i'm sorry um seeking guidance seeking counseling because you're ready for this passionate new beginning so this could be like um releasing yourself from a toxic situation this could be like Moving on towards a divorce because judgment is here, strength is here, fools here. This is all like new journeys, okay? And then clarifying the strength and the devil, we have four of swords. So there is after defeating this devil energy, having the strength to defeat this devil energy, to overcome this devil energy. You finally can rest. You finally can recover from all these woundings that you have had in this relationship. You can heal from the past heartbreaks that you have dealt with. All right. And then the bottom of the deck is nine of cups so definitely a wish coming true a wish being fulfilled all right so as far as any other messages i see i do see three nines nine of swords nine of cups nine of wands so your angel number is nine 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 um so that is level of completion there are things that are coming into completion for you also, nine is the number of light work. So your abilities, if you have abilities, if you're open to your abilities, because um, everybody has abilities, all right? Um, if you are open to your abilities, you will notice that the you will get more like psychic kicks, um, psychic hits, or you see new abilities develop. All right, so let's go into the Romance Angel cards. <clears throat> the first card says retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. Whether that be mind, body, spirit, 
I always say disconnect from the world after you've gone through this toxic relationship, after you've released yourself, you definitely need to get some holiday time. You need to, like, cut yourself off from the world around you, all right? Time to just be in your happy pa happy place. All right, it says your love life is... Uh, ascending to a new a higher level of commitment engagement was the card so you could be engaged um you could be in a relationship where now uh is the time for you to ascend to a new higher level of commitment of the relationship because you finally released this toxic um situation all right, and it says new love, a new partner stirred your romantic, has stirred your romantic feelings. So it's not this toxic person that's stirred your romantic feelings. It's this new person, this new person with this new desire, this new passion. The Ace of Wands could also be like you guys having um, a lot of passion in the bedroom. <clears throat> okay. So the bottom of the deck and the energy um, from the angels or the message from the angels it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Don't allow the devil energy to overcome you. That's why you have the strength card. The universe is giving you the strength card because you are worth loving. You are lovable. Stay optimistic about your love life. Not everybody's a douchebag like this person was, all right? So the first card out from the angel answer says, let go. Let go of that toxic situation. Let go of the worries, fears, and anxieties. All right, the next one says, reconsider. Reconsider your worries, fears, and anxieties. Why do you have these worries, fears, and anxieties? Why are you being hung upside down, Aquarius? Reconsider the, the the path that you didn't take. Reconsider what brings you happiness, what brings you passion, what your victory and success looks like, what strength looks like to you. All right. And then it says communicate clearly. So you being an air sign, you're very much about communication. But with this this whole Scorpio um, in Venus and it going retrograde, it's like you're not going to be able to stand it no more, to hold back your feelings, your emotions again. This is Scorpio intense fixed sign in the planet where it represents how we show up in our partnership in our love life okay <clears throat> so the bottom of the deck says a year from now so whatever it is um as far as clearing out all this it could be a year from now that you get engaged it could be a year from now however whatever message resonates with you the most okay so that is what i have for you guys i hope that this message resonates if it does please hit that like comment down below share subscribe and um if it did not check back towards the middle of the month to see if it resonates then or check out your sun moon or rising and if you would like a personal read, check out the description box below. These prices are good until 1st November. After 1 November, they do increase by $5. So check it out. Hit me up for a read before they go up. All right. Namaste, you guys. And I love you. Bye.